If you were a woman, you walk these streets at your peril, for this is London's Whitechapel in the time of Jack the Ripper, one of the world's most infamous killers. <laughs> Follow me. Don't leave my side for a single moment. This is where Jack the Ripper once walked. The back alleys he prowled. The bawdy spit and sawdust haunts he knew. Who was Jack the Ripper? Only one man thought he knew the answer. His address? 221B Baker Street, please, Kevin. His name was Sherlock Holmes. I have reason to assume a connection between this case of surgical instruments and your local murders, Mr. Baker. That's slender. Talk like that can get you through. No, sir. Talk like that can get you hanged. Sherlock Holmes, a genius at detecting the improbable and solving the impossible. Incredible. Elementary, my dear Watson. Dr. Watson, the other half of this fantastic partnership. <laughs> A study in terror in the brawling, gaslit back streets of London's East End. This is Carfax, who helped Holmes more than he knew. Chunky, who knew one of the victims very well. And Murray, the doctor, whose tongue was as sharp as his scalpel. One man has made us news. <laughs> to seize a defenseless female, to stifle her cries, and then... Has God destroyed Sodom and the city of Gomorrah? A study in terror. This butcher boy has the government, has all of us on the edge of a knife. Only this morning, three more men were attacked in the streets of London. These were the women who lived in the shadow of the Ripper. The redhead, once famed for her beauty. The gay, buxom little blonde. The kind of provocative women the Ripper loved. Till murder... Did them part. It's true these murders are the work of a madman, but a madman with certain medical skills, considerable intelligence and education. But if you're right, Mr. Holmes, it brings us back to the doctors. Don't be too sure, Lestrade. see anything like it this side of hell.